So far, we have seen plus page.svelte and plus layout.svelte files, which are special files in SvelteKit. But what do you think happens when we create regular Svelte components within the rods folder? Well, let me tell you, no new route is mapped as they are treated as regular component files. Let's understand with an example. Now what I'm going to do is extract the header and footer HTML into separate component files from layout.svelte. So within the routes folder, I'm going to create two new files. header.svelte and footer.svelte. I'm going to move out the HTML and CSS from layout.svelte to the respective files. Now in layout.svelte, we're going to add a script section and import header and footer components. Import header from header.svelte and import footer from footer.svelte. Above the slot tag, include header and below the slot tag, footer. If we now go back to the browser, our UI continues to work as expected. But what I'm trying to explain is that you can collocate components and utility modules within the routes folder that need them. Slash header or slash footer, the two new components which we have created within the routes folder do not map to a route in our application. So go ahead and create any component you want to within the routes folder. If you have a few components specific to password, go ahead and create them in the password folder. You don't have to worry about the files getting mapped to a URL that the user can access. In fact, if you come across components or modules needed by multiple routes, it's a good idea to put them in the lib folder. Let me show you what I mean. In the source folder, I'm going to create a new folder called lib, short for library. We're going to move the header and footer components into the lib folder. Now in the layout file, we can access the components using a path alias, and that is $lib. So $lib slash header dot svelte and $lib slash footer dot svelte. Head back to the browser, navigate to the home page, and we have the same UI still in place. Now the reason you would want to move common components into the lib folder is so that you can avoid multiple levels of dot dot slash in each path. Path alias makes it really simple and keeps the code clean.